mid-term CUE on urothelial carcinoma. A two-day conference was organized in Ames, Jodhpur, under the aegis of North Zone Urological Society of India. The event was held on 18th and 19th of March 2023. Doctors from all over the country gathered to share and experience the latest research, studies, advancements and innovations in the field of urology. The most popular booth at the conference was SS Innovations, where doctors had the chance to experience SSI Maya, the virtual and augmented reality platform from SS Innovations. Using the SSI Maya platform, doctors were able to experience a virtual reality environment that gave them an up-close look at the SSI Mantra Surgical Robotic System. This innovative tool interface allows doctors to explore, experience and understand the surgical robotic system virtually. In the near future, using this platform, surgeons could not only train on the surgical robotic system virtually, but would also be able to control the system with precision and even perform surgeries more efficiently. Without system, I could see the system is here. And I could see the system have very you know good advanced features, especially the vision uh, card and uh, all different uh, you know arms so and then port placement they are uh, surgeon friendly and they are not limiting so it's a uh, it looks very nice and promising first of all uh, i'm uh, very excited about the new players entering into the robotic platform and this being the make in india i'm sure you know the the uh, we are tend to be a little biased towards make in india so Definitely, it is uh, something very really appealing and looking forward to it. Chairman and founder SS Innovations, Dr. Sudhish Srivastava, gave a detailed presentation on the Indian made SSI Mantra Surgical Robotic System. Uh, what we have created in India, a truly make in India as we call it for the world. When we look at the, the, uh, the Indian scene, and when we look at over the last 20 years, we have only a total of 140 robotic systems, about 100 uh, Da Vinci's and uh, 40 CMR and few uh, Metronic uh, Hugoras at this point in time. And that's a pity, it's a shame, that uh, if you look at the United States uh, with one-fourth of our population, uh, they have almost uh, 5,000 systems. Okay, so we've made a commitment to create a system that hopefully will be different at, at some point, we will surpass the existing technology and most importantly, make it effect, cost effective so many, many more patients, not just in India, but around the world can benefit from it. So where we are today, five systems have been launched and uh, over 130 cases now have been done. No device related issue in terms of any adverse effects. And these are different types of cases that have been done. Mostly are very radical, complex uh, Euro onc and gyne onc uh, cases. Dr. Rawal has done, I think, over 80 plus cases now. And as you all know, he does very complex operations. So uh, they've been using it, and then other procedures are also being done right now. Uh, registered with the Indian CDSCO, uh, Make in India on the government portal. And we are initiating our application for the European and the US approvals. And uh, uh, we are working on telesurgery and hope in six months we will do that on animals and then gradually. So the whole idea to really create a very holistic other than the routine curriculum of training, to be able to be on, on site proctoring, have people available who can guide surgeons for difficult cases or you know, new surgeons that are coming on because you know, we hope that this process will continue. And uh, Dr. Fred Moll uh, is something that will be interesting of you. Dr. Fred Moll, who was the founder of Intuitive, he left Intuitive back 2004, created a series of companies. Last one was J&J, this uh, bronchoscopy robot. He got out of that also. And he has joined us. Uh, he was here in November, saw Dr. Rawal do a live case, tested the system, 
and uh, is part of us taking Da Vinci on. We still do 80% import from outside. And somewhere we must, you know, the Make in India and the Atmanirbhar vision, and that's the only way to that we must do things here, and it is possible. So with that, I want to thank you all, and Jai Hind. The large number of doctors who visited the SS Innovations booth were fascinated by the technology and left with a greater understanding of the potential of virtual and augmented reality in the medical field. At this year AIMS Jodhpur event, we tried to test virtual reality and augmented reality to its limit. We bring our SSI mantra system into augmented reality so that surgeons could experience the system in front of them. Rather than bringing the system here, we showed them the actual model using the virtual reality. Using the current technology and the advanced technology which we have in our market, so in the upcoming future, we will be able to display our system with a more interactive, haptic-based system. Doctor can interact with the system even though the system is not available at the site. Using this technology will help us to for teleproctoring, telesurgeries and all this application will come into the picture for up upcoming years. SS Innovations is proud to be at the forefront of this exciting new technology and looks forward to continue to innovate in the medical field.